In this video, I'd like to show you how simple it is to map an SD card on an NJ or NX controller to your desktop for easy access of files created by the SysMap controller. The first thing we need to do is to prepare the controller by enabling its FTP server. These settings are under Configuration and Setup, Controller Setup, Built-in Ethernet IP port settings. You'll find a button marked FTP on the left-hand side, and here, in here I've prepared the controller. Clicked on the Use button, the radio button on the top right. I'm using port 21. This is the standard port used by FTP services. I've added a username and password for authentication so that only I can access this folder if I know the login name and password. To check this connection, we can use a simple browser, in this case Google, type in FTP, colon four slash four slash followed by the IP address of the controller itself. Now I'm prompted for those authentication details we used earlier so that's my FTP and Omron 1234. Now I have access to the file section of the SysMac controller and you'll notice here a folder called memcard1. This is the folder where the SD card is mounted if I click on there, you can see some files that I created earlier using the SysMac controller that I may want to access from my Windows desktop remotely. To set up a more permanent connection, we can create a mapped drive from Windows 10. To do this, open the Windows Explorer, find your PC and right click on it, clicking on Map Network Drive. You'll notice a hyperlink at the bottom of the first dialog this is the one we want to click on because effectively we're using the controller as a website, as an FTP service. Now click next. Click on a custom network location. And in here we type in that URL again of FTP 192.168.1.1. You're noticing my history there. I've even added in the memcard folder that we saw earlier. So we're accessing the files directly from the mounted SD card. Now click next, next again. And now we're going to give the controller a meaningful name. So production cell two, because you may have several NJs where you want to access the SD cards. Now click finish. And the browser opens up now and we have access to memcard1. Here, here are the files. We can't open the files up directly. We need to copy them to a local drive on our PC to be able to edit them. You'll also notice here that in the PC tree of uh, files and uh, file locations, you'll see that production cell 2 has been added. So in the future, if we want to access this data, we just need to go into our explorer click here and we can access the files. Hope this is useful. Thanks for your time.